After you've downloaded the My Mobile Witness See Something, Send Something app from your app store, what's next? Simply open the application and click Continue to get started. Please note, if your school is using another application to report instances of bullying, you can keep using that reporting system. CSEND is just another tool in your toolbox to use when you need help or if you see something that doesn't quite feel right. On the next page, you'll be prompted to enter your personal information, including your name, the best phone number to contact you, and your state of residence. By entering your information, intelligence agencies, law enforcement, and first responders will be able to receive, sort, search, and analyze the data in a matter of minutes to get you the help you need as fast as possible. Keep in mind, you will be permitted to report anonymously if you wish. Once you've correctly input your information, click the Save and Continue button. On the next page, you will see three blue buttons, the first of which is labeled School Threat or Safety Issue. For purposes of this demonstration, let's select that one. On the next page, you'll be prompted to enter the tip. The first box allows you to describe, with as much detail as possible, the threat or safety issue. For example, what if you overhear another student talking about bringing a gun to school? Simply enter that information into the box. If you were able to capture videos or photos related to the tip you're reporting, you have the option to include those on this page as well. If you would like to remain anonymous, check the box. After you enter your school's name, click Send Tip. Although we selected the School Threat or Safety Issue button for purposes of this demonstration, please keep in mind that you can also report crime or suspicious activity when you are not in the school setting. For example, if you're out with your friends at the movies and you see something suspicious, you can use this button to report your tip. The app also provides a button for suicide or addiction. If you or someone you know is struggling with either of these issues, never hesitate to use this button. However, please remember, this app does not replace a call to 911 for immediate assistance. So, now you know how to report your tip. Let's talk a little bit about the app itself. You'll notice several tabs at the bottom of your screen, labeled Home, Watch For, Alerts, Your Info, and Info. Let's click the Watch For tab. On this page, you will be given examples of suspicious activity. If you see anything that could potentially fit into one of these categories, report it immediately using the CSEND app. To demonstrate, let's select the Photography tab. This tab explains that suspicious activity includes when a person is taking photos or videos of the outer perimeter of a facility. If you see someone taking photos of security cameras, security gates, etc., that could be considered suspicious activity worth reporting. Once you've downloaded the app, take a few minutes to become familiar with the other tabs. Make sure you know how to navigate the app in an effective manner so that you can report suspicious activity or school threats quickly. In these situations, seconds and minutes matter. Take time to read the policies and rules associated with the app. I know it's a lot of reading, but some of the information may be helpful to you at some point in the future. So that's it. It's really that simple. West Virginia is using this app for one reason, to help keep you safe in your school. Rest assured, if you see something and send something, the right people are on the other end of your phone or device, and we're here to help.